Select your directions carefully. Go through many doors. While you're playing Heroes of the Lance and slashing up dwarves with your dwarf. Oh my, look out for traps. And get yourself some potion. And what do we do to mysterious bottles we find in random dungeons? We drink them. Yeah, we do. Fortunately, there is no poison in this game. Other Dungeons & Dragons games, I don't recommend drinking anything until you identify it. Identification is good. Also, statues of naked women are good. Oh my. Not really. Like they ever put nudity in a Nintendo game. You never know. But that's not the point. The point is to go forward like brave heroes. And try to remember where you're going, Magma. Where am I going? Well, with a map out of map, you usually get totally lost like me. And end up slashing barbarians. It's a 20-sided die. It's done all off-camera. Also, naked dwarves should be off-camera. But in all seriousness, you might find some good items. If you take your time. You might just realize you're stupid. You might just want to take that scroll for your mage. Save his magic points. Actually, he has a ton of magic points on his staff. It's alright, because Dwarven Rage shall save the day. Anybody else who says otherwise is a fool. I'm back at the beginning. Shame on me. It's alright. If you look around long enough, you'll eventually find a certain door which I am looking for. Although it's not really a door. Or I could just try to speed past folks, but that's dangerous. Also took off a lot of health. One moment while I cure up. And I'll actually look at my notes. So I can do something smart. And go the right way. I should beat up the man. The man does not respect me. The man looks like a berserker. Do not try to jump cliffs. Do not be like Wally e. Coyote. I think I'm almost there. I'm almost there. That's what I was looking for, this spot right here. But Magma, what about the gargoyles? Slash up the gargoyles, of course. Always slash up the gargoyles. Well, since we are at this point, we might as well continue on. Oops. Oopsie! I sounded the alarm. Now come the trolls. Not just the trolls on YouTube. The trolls of AD&D. People say they're weak against fire. This may or not, may not be true. So what do we do? We burn them, of course. With burning hands. Which may or may not have worked. But I'm slashing them with Carmen anyway. 
Not to be confused with Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is she, anyways? These are jokes, folks. They'll continue all night. Anyway, I should continue on to the next area. And continue on to my left. Looking out for trolls along the way. So I don't get trolled. And find a delicious waterfall. We all know what we do at waterfalls. Naked swimming. I'm kidding. Restore all my health. That's pretty freaking awesome. So let's go back to the right. And continue on. Why are we continuing on? Because we want to beat up dwarves. And we're not here for treasure, except for the disc. Instead, I shall take these potions. When you mix yellow and blue, you get green. But we don't do any alchemy here. Instead, we take a refreshing drink and have confidence in ourselves. A potion of heroism, if you will. It will make you slash better. What will also make you slash better is if you take a shield and use it to protect yourself. That's a good idea. So let's continue on and not use our spear because that will throw it. Automatically equipped. That's a good thing. And I can't scroll off the screen. Instead, I meet two more of my friends. Why do I have so many friends in here? It's like they're trying to stop me from completing my quest. Jerks. And while I could get a refreshing drink at the waterfall, I'm at full health. Why would I need to do that? So watch out for traps. That's what I should do. Now here comes a problem. Something I actually have to jump over. Welp. Somebody's gonna die. And hopefully it won't be me. It's going to be this gargoyle instead. Ooh, look, a gold chalice. Have you ever heard of the Goblet of Everlasting Water? You know if you turn that upside down, you'll flood the world. True story. But that's not the point. Either door will work. Let's go through this door. And the music finally changes. And it's actually pretty good. But it'll get repetitive after a while. So let us continue on. And look out for the horrors that come ahead. Like ghosts. Ghosts are horrible. I should hit them with a hammer. A spiritual hammer. Because ghosts are just plain rude. And they want to play dirty tricks on me. I don't want to play that game no more. What am I doing? I, yes, I am looking through a walkthrough. Until then, rattle me bones. It's a skeleton. He looks like a stick man. It's not Slenderman, I'll tell you that. So, who needs a shield? 
Do you need a shield? Should I take a shield too? Why certainly. Shields for everyone. Increase that AC. Ha have a slight chance to block your opponent's attacks. That's a good idea. Also a good idea, keeping my hit points high. What would be a better idea is to save. What would be an even greater idea is not to play this game at all. Hmm. <laughs> now, where was I? Conquering the world. That's what I was doing. Going through more doors. Not to confuse the mortal. Oh my! It's a dragon. So when you face dragons, you need deflection. That takes up a huge amount of charge on your cleric staff, which she gets all her magic from. And since I am deflecting that, I am temporarily sort of invincible. Otherwise, that would do a heck of a lot of damage. So quickly uh, defeat your dragons. Even if they are baby dragons. See, that took out a quarter of his health. That's quite a bit. That dragon will melt you. And I just don't mean melt your heart either. That's some serious acid. Acid reflux. Acid reflex, if you will. We should go through the open gate. The open gate shall protect me and allow me to run away. Until then, Sabatrol and his knees. I was once a great adventurer like you, but then I took a short stab to the knees. That was a bad joke, made no sense, and does not belong in this playthrough. I feel bad, and you should too. Also, delicious potion. It's blue. What happens when you use a blue potion? You get cured. Has a few doses of cure. And when we come back, I'll cure my throat of thirst, and you cure yourself for the next video. One more.